My name is Dr. Iwana Varigos. I am a specialist anaesthetist in Melbourne and in the past 20 years I have been involved in the treatment of pain. Today I would like to introduce our paper, The Neuroprotective Effects Against Postoperative Cognition Deficit by Photobiomodulation, Evidence from Assembly and Disassembly of the Cytoskeleton. My co-authors are Dr. Anne Liebert, clinical physiotherapist and researcher at the University of Sydney, Dr. Roberta Chow, medical practitioner and researcher in pain at the Brain and Mind Institute, University of Sydney, and Dr. Brian Bicknell, microbiologist and biologist, the Australian Catholic University, Sydney. As an anaesthetist involved with the management of pain, I have been involved with numerous techniques of treating patients. These involve interventional techniques such as radiofrequency blocks, neurostimulators, spinal neurostimulators, spinal pumps and sympathetic blocks. Along with various pharmaceutical prescription drugs, I have been treating patients with low-level laser therapy during this 20-year period. It is because of the continued positive effect I have observed with the use of low-level laser that I saw its use in the perioperative period and have focused on that more recently. This paper is a result of three authors clinical observations each of 20 years and in separate fields. More recently we've observed preoperative intervention with photobiomodulation to be important specifically in preparing the patient prior to the surgical insult and this results in improved post-op recovery and more importantly clarity of thought. Post-operative cognition deficit is or POCD is observed as a decline in memory short and or long term following anaesthesia and surgery. There is no universally accepted definition of POCD or an international classification. However, there is increasing acceptance of its existence. Research in the area has been limited and results varied in part due to non-standardised testing and method methodological variances. Anaesthetic drugs including volatile, the volatile agents and induction drugs, the stress of surgery and the neuroinflammation caused have all been implicated as factors. Included in the inflammatory uh, cascade are the cytokine markers such as interleukin 1 beta along with tau and beta amyloid and also C-reactive protein CRP. The prevalence of short or long term POCD in the over 65 year old population undergoing surgery and anaesthesia impacts on quality of life and drains our medical and health systems. There is an increase in post-operative care requirements, hospital stay and decrease in patients autonomy. With the worldwide increase in the ageing population this is a problem of increasing concern to all of us. As clinicians uh, and based on our combined observation of the clinical effect of post uh, of photobiomodulation in the perioperative period we undertook to investigate further mechanisms of action. Photobiomodulation has been more accepted in recent years as an effective treatment for a number of conditions including inflammation. The mitochondrial effect of photobiomodulation is well established through chromophore, chromophore cytochrome C oxidase. Since 2007 Dr. Roberta Chow has investigated the cytoskeleton effect of laser in pain blockade and showed laser produced transient and reversible disassembly of microtubules in peripheral neurons with the formation of small reversible varicosities. Following on from this work we sought to explore the effect of photobiomodulation on the cytoskeleton and the importance of the cytoskeleton in neuroprotection and its relevance to postoperative cognition deficit. We would argue that the varicosities produced by photobiomodulation mimic small reversible varicosities produced endogenously as a neuroprotection against damage, toxins, hibernation and the formation of 
for larger permanent destructive varicosities and focal swellings. In summary, this paper proposes the possibility that photobiomodulation may be effective as a safe preconditioning treatment against postoperative cognition deficit, similar to the use of photobiomodulation with its protective systemic effects that have been demonstrated in macular degeneration, cardiac and neurological conditions. Thank you.